I hope you guys didn't think I forgot about this video because I didn't. I did it every single year so far, year one, year two, year three, and this is the final one for year four. <laughs> I just finished my bachelor's in arts and science at Concordia University studying communication and cultural studies. So this video is going to be heavily reliant and based on the fact that I studied communications and cultural studies at Concordia. Obviously I'm going to touch on facts that can be very general but also some facts will be very niche to that program because that's all I really know. I did start off in a different program if you're new here. When I first started at Concordia I was in women's studies for a year and then I did the switch to communication and cultural studies three years ago and I finally finished my degree so we're graduating I have my graduation next month which is exciting but nerve-wracking at the same time I got back all my final grades and I passed everything my goal was to finish with a 3.0 GPA and I did so we just love that for me we do so yeah this video is a little bit about my experience at Concordia any tips and stuff that I have and I guess we'll just jump right into it let's see I wrote down things that I wanted to talk about so we're going to touch base on things like location the people like the other students um the education <laughs> the teachers the program and the cost of everything so if we start off with location I personally went to so I was in communications and cultural studies and that major is at the Loyola campus which which is located in like NDG. Um, so it's not the downtown campus. I went to the downtown one a few times a semester um, for my electives, but my whole last year I was completely at the um, Concordia Loyola campus. So location wise, the Loyola one looks more like a campus. Like I'll add a picture here. It looks like more of like your typical campus, like what it looks like. The downtown one, sometimes like you wouldn't really be tell, like you wouldn't be able to tell that you're going to university. Like, I don't know how to explain it, <laughs> but the one that I went to at Loyola campus looks like a real campus, looks like the ones you see in the movies. The downtown one doesn't, but I mean, that's like a little slight little thing, like who cares? But the Loyola campus has nothing around it. Like when I mean nothing, I mean nothing. It's like full of houses. There's one second cup coffee shop and I don't like second cup coffee so I never went there. There's one ice cream shop, there's like two or three food places and that's literally it. So obviously the downtown one has so many coffee shops, so many bubble tea shops, so many restaurants, a pharmacy, a dollar store, like all the things that like if you need something like you got it there. So the one at Layla doesn't have that, which has its pros and cons honestly. If you think about it like the downtown one is a lot more convenient for things like food, coffee, etc. But the Loyola one on the flip side doesn't have all these things, but you do save money because you're not spending all this money on like food, on coffee and all these things because you don't really have that option. So like there's pros and cons for both things. I personally like the downtown campus just a little bit more because if I have like a three hour break between my classes, I can go to a coffee shop and do work. I can maybe see a friend. Like there was more options to do things during the class, like during the breaks. But when you're at Loyola, there's like literally nothing to do. I can't leave and come back because like there's no point in that so I was just kind of stuck there sitting there doing work without a nice coffee like you know what I mean it's like the little things so like I said there's pros and cons with the locations depends on your program I know like the sciences is also at Loyola I think the engineering is at Loyola I don't remember the rest like journalism is at Loyola I don't remember the other ones but there are a few programs that are based at the Loyola campus and then there's a few that are based downtown so it really just depends what your major is, but that's what I would have to say on location. Now we got people. I mean, I personally haven't had a lot of connections with people from the school. And like, I can't tell you if it's because I'm just like shy and awkward and like have social anxiety or because of COVID solely. Like, I don't know if I would make a lot of friends if COVID wasn't a thing because we were obviously on Zoom like 90% of the time. Like my first full year at school was in person. So my second year at school was basically in person for half the semester, then we went online. Then we had another full year online. No, wait, when did COVID start? two years ago, I think. I don't know, but 90% of my university experience was online in my room on Zoom. And it's kind of hard to make friends on Zoom. Like it's not the same like YouTube and Twitter and Instagram and stuff. Like I'm not gonna just message someone on Zoom and be like, hey, like you seem chill, let's be friends. Like it doesn't work that way. So the people are very nice, they're welcoming. Obviously you're not gonna vibe with everyone that you meet. You're not gonna vibe with every single soul that you talk to. But a lot of the people in my program were kind of similar to me. They had similar interests and things as such. But I can't tell you if I would have made more friends if we were in person because I'm a very shy person. 
So I'd never be the one to go up to someone. The most I would make friends is like during school, like projects and stuff. I did have one friend, her name is Sabrina. We actually went to elementary school together. So we became like, we were never not friends, but like we like reconnected, I guess, at Concordia because we were in the same program. So then she introduced me to two of her friends. And then we made another friend named Olivia because she was in like one of our school projects. And like, that's how I kind of made friends through friends and through school projects. But other than that, like I never really tried, honestly, I'm not gonna lie and be like, I tried and like no one wanted to be my friend. Like I did not try. So yeah, the people are very nice, but with COVID making friends through Zoom is just like, not, not it. It's not, it's not the vibe I'm going for. If we move on to education, I think the education is good. I know there's some people that are like, oh, like the education sucks, blah, blah, blah. But like for myself, I did learn a few things. Did I learn every single thing I was hoping to learn? No, but I feel like you also like don't always learn everything you want to learn. And at the same time, it's about how much you open up and how like receptive you are to learning what you're being told or what you're being given. But like, if I go through my class list, I took some classes that were actually really interesting um, education wise. Like you always think like, oh, there's gonna be all these boring classes, but there were some that were actually interesting. So my first semester, I took a class that was called um, Debates and Challenges Within Quebec Society. I mean, I already knew about them, but it was like an interesting course, especially that I learned more about like where I'm living and all those things. And then my second semester, I took a class called Integrating Digital Technology into Education. That was pretty interesting. I focused on social media, specifically Twitter, um, which was cool. And then my next semester, I took a class called, there was nothing interesting there. <laughs> Um, I took another class. Um, it was a fine arts class. It was an elective and it was called It's Bigger Than Hip Hop. So we learned about like the hip hop music, the hip hop genre, the education that you can get from hip hop music. And then we focused on certain artists. So that was really cool. I took a media and gender class. I took a HIV AIDS class, which was also really interesting. I took a documentary class. I took a communication and indigenous peoples class, which was very informative and I highly recommend anyone take it. And then my last semester, which this semester I took a class called advanced topics in documentary and that was also very interesting and I took a public relations class so there are a lot of like different different types of courses so it meets a lot of the needs or like the, a lot of the interests of different people like a wide variety of people it's not like very niched and narrowed down so like education wise I learned the capacity that I was trying to intercept or like to the capacity that I was letting myself learn. I'm sure I could have done more. I'm sure I could have put more effort or I could have learned more, but honestly, I did the best that I could. Given the situation too, because learning in your room on Zoom is not the easiest thing ever. Like I applaud anyone who does like school full time from home because that's initially what I wanted to do. And by the end of it, I was like, damn, like this is really hard. But, like I'm thankful that I was able to have a bit of an in-person university experience because it really allowed me to appreciate and understand more about the people that don't do that and like are online full time. Like that shit's hard to learn from a computer in your room because like my room is like my comfort place my room is the place that I chill I relax like I vibe in so having to like do my classes in my room in the corner like where I do my other stuff was like kind of difficult so that's that um moving on to teachers honestly I don't have that many or I don't really have any complaints obviously there's gonna be teachers that I like there's teachers that I don't like there's teachers that I vibe with there's teachers that I don't vibe with like we all vibe with people and we all don't vibe with people so there's obviously teachers that I vibed with more and there's teachers that I didn't vibe with but at the same time like I'm not a type of person to get to know my teachers I am not that type of student nothing wrong with those people like nothing wrong with you trying to get to know your teachers but personally that's not how I roll and it's not how I vibe and it's just like not what I did not what I did it wasn't my thing so yeah I really enjoyed the teachers that I had there were some that I liked more than others there were some that I really learned easily with there's some that I didn't learn easily with there's some that annoyed me like usual but I'm sure I annoyed some of them so it kind of goes both ways but I don't really have any complaints and I also don't have any like oh my god like you have to go to Concordia because these teachers like no like it was very neutral for me then again half the time I was looking at my teacher through a zoom screen so it's just like not the same not the same vibe you know then we got the program so for me the program was exactly what I needed it's exactly what I wanted obviously like I said I started off in women's studies and that was definitely not my vibe definitely not what I needed and definitely was not helping me towards the career goals that I have so I'm happy that I was able to realize that and change programs nothing wrong with women's studies it just like I couldn't see or picture a future for myself in that program so I switched to communication and 
cultural studies where I've learned a lot. So there's two brackets. The communi there's communications, which is very like hands-on media projects. And then there's communications and cultural studies, which is more like the theory behind it. So as someone who is already very hands-on with like YouTube, podcasting, Instagram and stuff, I kind of wanted more of like a theory-based education within communications. So I had a lot of writing assignments, a lot of reading assignments, a lot of research, but that's personally what I liked more in like an education sector or an education environment. So yeah, I mean, the program is exactly what I needed. I learned a lot and there's like different courses and like I kind of already spoke about, you can learn about social media, you can learn about documentary, podcasting. Um, there were some classes where I learned about Twitter, you learn about current events, you learn about the news cycle, you learn about how communication is transmitted within the news. I was in a class about political communication during the elections in Canada uh, for the prime minister. So it was cool to like be in a classroom frame when things like that are happening in a political class. I don't know, I really enjoyed the program. It was exactly what I wanted, exactly what I needed. So if you're looking and you're like, oh, like, do I wanna be in communication? communications and cultural studies or do I want to be in like communications whether you're going to Concordia or not just think like do you want to have like more hands-on university experience or do you want to have more of a theory-based university experience both are obviously good options it kind of just depends more on like the personal side of you so yeah but other than that I mean pricing I feel like school is like the cheapest in Quebec but I also don't know because I've never really been anywhere else you can go online and like see the prices for each um, program but yeah that's kind of like my vibe that's how my past few years went I really did enjoy my time there I do wish that I had more of a university experience like in a sense that there wasn't really a lot of parties and I'm not really a partier like I'm not that big of a partier I partied a lot in CJEP which if you don't know that's like when you're 17, 18, 19. In Quebec or Montreal, whatever, here where I live, um, instead of having like um, 12th grade, we have CJEP. So it's kind of like a pre-university type of thing. So I partied a lot there and I do not want to go back to those days. But I do wish I went to like more like parties, events. Um, we didn't really have much because of COVID. And I do wish I had more time to spend on campus. I mean, I first I was like, oh, like I hate being here. But at the end of the day, like, I really was like, I don't feel like I got the full university experience because 90% of my university was on Zoom. But Concordia was a great place to go to. I would not have chose anywhere else, honestly. Like, there's nothing in me that's like, I really wish I went to this school. Like, I'm content. I'm happy. I graduated or I'm going to graduate next month. I did it. And I had a really good time. Um, so I think I touched upon everything. Location, I've explain both of the schools um, or both of the campuses. The people, like I said, are really nice and welcoming. I do wish I made some more friends, but what are you gonna do? Um, the education wise was really good. The teachers were good and yeah, so that's kind of what I, like my experience, my views, my opinions. Um, if you're gonna go to Concordia, I just would, I would tell you to try and like look at each program that interests you and kind of pick that way because I knew communications and cultural studies was like what I wanted, but I kind of went in a different direction at first and I found myself back here, which is also fine because sometimes you, you got to explore different options to like see what you really want. Um, but that's like my only thing like I wish I did more of before going. But other than that, I don't really have anything else to say. If you guys have any questions about Concordia or university as a whole, please comment them down below. I'd love to help you out. I would love to answer some questions. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you if you watched the first one, second one, third one, and this is the final one. So thank you if you've been along the whole ride with me. I really do appreciate it. So thank you guys so much again for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to me below if you're new here. I would love if you joined the little fam that we got going on. And yeah, so thank you again. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.